So welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today we have got another Ark Survival Evolved Lost Island video. The reason why I want to make this video is because we are getting so close now to the release date for this map. It is obviously coming out for the console and the PC. It is going to be so exciting as I really believe this map could be one of the best ARC maps that we have seen. I'm not talking about pay DLCs. I'm talking about free ones. It's that kind of a mixture between the island and Ragnarok. It is going to be so much fun. Now what we're going to be doing is checking out how big this map actually is. I know this is only 30 35% complete and wildcard are still going to change and finish off the other percentage of this map but I just wanted to show you how big this really is going through all of the biomes and even the unfinished ones too. Now make sure to smash that like button if you're excited for those Lost Island guys as it's so close. Let's see if we can get over 700 likes. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and let's just get in with today's video. So I thought we'd start off. If you've seen any of my other Lost Island maps, uh, this is probably going to be the last one now on the... Uh, actually, oh there's a Rex down there. Uh, this is actually probably going to be the last one on this unfinished version because we've now covered pretty much everything. This will be like the last one to do uh, to cover everything of this map because we're gonna like obviously go through the whole every single biome of it um but yeah no i it's gonna be so cool and i can't wait to make my first gameplay series on this so we've started in the snowy biome now in the lost island there is this is pretty much the main bit that's finished the snowy biome um but there are lots of pre-built buildings uh, and castles and stuff in the lost island map which is what i really like about it um i'm not gonna be going in depth into these castles or anything because i have done that i did like like a best sort of base location video um so if you want to check that out it was about two or three weeks ago i think it was three weeks ago now i recommend you do that but it is a really really cool like sort of place to come and visit there's lots of towers and lots of places to hide this also does actually go into a cave i think somewhere in this map which is awesome and in a lot of these caves in the lost island map there are lots of spiders and i'm sure when uh, things get updated to this you'll see lots more um sort of creatures and stuff spawning within these uh, bases but yeah really really awesome and i just thought i'd start right up here and cover all the snowy biome first so again as you can see there is some form of it's not really a cave it's more of just something you can just go through and it takes you up to the top this gives me very like big skyrim vibes whenever i talk about when whenever i play this map oh, there's a mammoth down here i always want to it always makes me want to play skyrim but i don't know if you guys are the same as me and you've literally completed skyrim about five Five times over um, and probably you guys have probably done it even more but yeah like I, I absolutely love it so this is a lot of the snowy biome as you can see there is a cave somewhere around here if I'm correct um, I can't remember the exact location for it but it's really really cool and I think somewhere around here as well there's an ice wyvern bit where you can uh, get yourself an ice wyvern lots of awesome stuff spawns around here as well I think that could be where the ice wyverns are um, but anyway um, We'll carry on going through the snow biome and showing you everything. It is a huge map, by the way, guys. Like This is probably going to be quite a big update when this map comes out. I will make a video on it as soon as I know. Yeah, so in here, you'll find wyverns. Um, so I think, yeah, there you go. So you've got a couple. You've got one up there attacking an RG. Um, and then when you come in, there's usually a few more spawned in, spawning in here. I'm not too sure. Maybe further on. I'm surprised if there's only going to be one. Last time there was about three in here. Okay, so, yeah, there's another, there's another two there. Um, but yeah, it's really awesome in the snow biome. That's going to be an interesting place to go and venture off to. So it's quite, it's a, well, when I say quite big, it's a very big snowy biome. Compare this to the island, it is absolutely huge. Um, still a little bit more to explore because that's where the castle is. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about this so far and, and you know, what you're most looking forward to coming next to see. Because I actually think when Wildcard take over this map, it just must be because it's just got, they saw this and realised this had the most potential to be an official map. And uh, yeah, as you can see, there's still even parts of the snowy biome that aren't even finished, which is absolutely crazy. Hello, UT. Do you want to be friends? You want to be friends? Don't think you want to be friends. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so we'll... Um, We'll come around here and what this actually takes you into after you get past the snow biome is where the red obelisk actually is. And over here, there's still there's this patch of what is even going on here? Maybe this is no way. Is this literally should we, should we walk in here and be like, thank you. Bye. Should we just take this? 
Uh, should I take this or and run away? No. <laughs> but yeah, this this actually must be something. I don't know why there's wyverns there. Um, that's quite interesting. I didn't actually see that before. But this takes you into a volcano um, uh, sort of biome type thing. It's not finished at all. I'm sure Wildcard are going to do so much. What I'm going to do as well when the official map comes out and I start my series on it is I'm going to compare the old map to what it was before this came out. I'm sure they're going to add in lava into this as well. There's, you know, They've got the smoke coming out of it. So from here, you can see a bit i know it's quite foggy but you can see how massive this map actually is there's going to be so, like when you see things oh that you know you, you look over there you think oh that's just the map and then you look further and then it's even more and that's why i feel like this is going to be huge for arc i don't even know what this is meant to be over here but it looks like this could be a tiny island we can come over and explore and then the same for this now as i mentioned wildcard are going to do lots of changes to this so i don't even know what they're going to remove or what they're going to edit or what they're going to add but still really looking forward to it so we come over here um and i think the redwood biome has already been installed is that the redwood biome over here if i'm correct yeah so this is the redwood biome and um this is all pretty much done and that and that actually takes you in to another base again i've already sort of done this in a base location but this one is really cool this goes into caves as well there's not really that much dangerous stuff around this base um, unless wildcard decide to make changes you might find a dire bear you might find uh um really maybe a terror bird or something but there's not really too much to be afraid of in this base but yeah that is really cool i recommend checking that out in my other base location videos it comes out of the red 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 redwood bio <laughs> redwood biome um but okay so you can see more here i might they'll probably extend the redwood biome over here until they get to this like green patch of land but again there's lots of water lots that is going to be changed and lots that is going to be added i think it is going to be an amazing map so as we come over here this is the green obelisk right yeah so this is the green obelisk again not finished um and so much more to be added in there is a lot of so when people said to me oh i don't want an underwater creature because uh, there's not enough water on this map there is so much that is going to be in the lost island you guys can see this already i mean i much prefer a land creature myself but i do think in arc 2 i'd love to see more sort of water creatures but again this is where the green obelisk is going to be on this map um little cave entrance here i haven't actually seen this before which is quite cool um so if we come down here and see what is this bit this bit has definitely not been finished has it like, there's like some like ground like just some like ground can you even get above that oh you can yeah um but this looks so epic this is actually been oh i know where this is guys i've just realized exactly what this is there's a photo um oh there's a baryonyx there should we get rid of the baryonyx you're gonna ruin the video have an arrow have another ah <laughs> um but yeah no uh let's get rid of that baryonyx you're gonna ruin the video you get you we, we, i know you're just in your own like enjoying your own time and stuff but so if you haven't actually seen there's a photo that got taken here and if you haven't seen this it's on this official arc page and there's the lost island logo down in the bottom here and there's a trike I, I literally haven't even explored this. That is so weird. I, I don't know how, or maybe I just have never noticed it, but this is such an awesome, uh, there's even a Sarko over there as well. This is such an awesome place to come and explore. I love this bit, even though it's not finished. Look how much there is. I mean, is this, the, is this a bit of a swamp area as well? What is that? Oh, oh, right. I thought that was something bigger there. You can see some dillos down there. There's even more spawns that I even had witnessed on this map when you really like look into it um, and take a look at this swampy area. I mean, the weather is not very nice at the moment. We've got a titan, a boa spawn there. Um, again, there's a waterfall that takes you down. Uh, wow, this, this bit does not look like it's going to be friendly whatsoever. Um, is this another bit of the... No, no, I thought there's... there's the, I think I remember a bit of a map where there was like a bird's beak coming off as a stone. Um, but again, as you can see, really awesome. Do not recommend you coming to this area and walking about without any protection because it's not going to be friendly. Um, but again, that's that bit. We can cover a little bit further. It's quite big, this biome. Every single biome, it looks like it's going to really be big. There's loads of waterfalls. This bit, again, look how nice the, look how nice this map is. I think it's actually like a beautiful map. Like, it's so nice. Um, so when we come further on, 
I want to show you guys the extent of how so this river takes you all the way down here. We've got some uh, Capruchus. Tried to leap for me there. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's that bit. When we come over here, we haven't been over here yet, have we? Or have we? No, I don't think we have. We're just the volcano. Oh no, this is just another area that we haven't even explored yet. No clue what this is going to be. I really want the weather to sort itself out. This is not what we wanted when we were doing the exploration of the map because you can barely see anything. It was so nice at the start. So we've got another island over here. Um, obviously, this is finished, but I, I don't know what types of things they're planning on spawning um, in this map, but uh, on this part of the map. But yeah, anyway, so where we were before, I was meant to go back to uh, because there was the, the the desert biome I wanted to explore, but there's still so much to show you before. I'll make sure I cover as much as I can. I thought that was going to be a cave there. Um, before we go back so this looks like it's a pretty friendly zone Galliminus, um there's some raptors down there that's pretty simple isn't it for an early starter zone well there is a rex down there surprisingly attacking stegos um but yeah we'll come and just explore this bit yeah this bit looks kind of friendly it might be quite a good early starting place to get yourself a rex if there's going to be some rexes spawning around here um so that's cool um what else is there to explore around here I was going to show you guys how big the uh, the desert biome actually is. So there's a huge amount of water here. Not too sure how deep that goes, but that takes you up to this bit. Um, this gives me real... I, I mentioned this in my last video. It gives you real island, like slash Ragnar... Well, more island vibes, but obviously the water's bigger where you'd like come round here and there'd be like, you know, an, uh, like herbivore island would be over there. It just really gives you that sort of, I don't know, like old school vibe and I like it a lot. So we're going to come around here because we're going to look for the desert biome so I can show you guys how large that is actually going to be. We've got some metal where you can farm over here. We've got some more raptors. There was an alpha raptor over there. Um, okay, so we're back at this tower, which I was meant to show you guys anyway. Um, I won't go inside, but there is a cave when you go inside that takes you all the way down um, to the bottom. And I think it comes out. Is it here? I don't know the exact positioning this cave comes out at, but I want to try and find it for you guys. There's loads of spiders that spawn in this uh, in this uh, cave. Is it right at the bottom or is it somewhere up here? I'm literally like seconds away from finding it, um, but I probably won't end up finding it knowing me. It's somewhere around the side of the mountain and you come out at the bottom. Either way, if you want to see it of me actually exploring the cave, then I recommend you checking out my other gameplay videos of the Lost Island. There's about another three um, that you can check out. Does it come out somewhere in the forest, if I'm correct? I'm getting that, that sort of vibe that it, you come out somewhere here. I can't 100% remember. But either way, you guys will have to take my word for it. Um, I'll, 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 I'll zoom into it just quickly to show you where the cave starts. So if you come in here... Um, it's very dark. You can either go up or you can go down and that is obviously where the cave starts You can see there you go uh, and you can go down into it and it takes you out of the map But I get so lost in the cave and there's spiders everywhere. So it's not really where I want to be going But anyway, what I'll do is I'll take you guys to the uh, the, the desert biome very very quickly some unfinished map over here as well um, And then I think that is pretty much everything that you guys need to see from the Lost Island before we get prepared for the official map coming out very soon. So the desert biome is over there. And there was it was quite big, so that's why I wanted to explore it. Uh, let's walk uh, walk over there. Let's fly over there now. We're getting there pretty quick um, using creative mode, if any of you are wondering. I'm sure you know because there is a video on my channel with over 2.3 million views of how to get into creative mode, which shocks me how many views that actually has. Um, so yeah, this is the desert biome. It is absolutely massive. Uh, you guys can see that right here. Why does that give me like, if any of you guys ever play Call of Duty and you used to do some glitches to get outside the map, can you actually go through this? Oh no, you can't. You used to be able to fall through the map. So you can't actually go through any of this. It's been uh, blocked off, but you can kind of get the idea of how big this biome is actually going to be. And I hope this video has given you an understanding about how big the Lost Island map is actually going to be as well. So much to explore, so much new stuff, three new dinos. It really is going to be one crazy adventure on the Lost Island map. But yes, I am going to be ending this video here. I hope you have enjoyed it. I always love doing videos like this. Smash that like button if you're excited. Subscribe if you're new. And thank you very much for supporting the channel.